Hello, in this Visual Basic programming video, I am going to show you anchoring and docking. So, anchoring basically allows you to, you know, add it, you know, if you've got a component added. So, for example, I'm going to add a button. I'll increase the size a little bit. Let's show you what this looks like now. Pretty cool. Let me actually, so let's just say if I want it always at the bottom left, if I run it, what happens when I try and resize it? You know, it's it's basically, you know, in terms of the height, it's, you know, fixed. So if I decrease the height of the window, the actual button doesn't move up. We want it always at the bottom left. And that's what anchoring does. Let it, to, you know, essentially anchor it, you know, like how you have an anchor on a ship, to a certain position. So I've got that selected, go to properties. And you want to go to anchor. You can either sort alphabetically or scroll down and go to layout. Go to anchor. So at the moment, it's it's based on like a top left layer. So that just means this is the top left of where it wants to be. If I do bottom right now, that means it will always be on the bottom. Hmm. Ah, the property did not get applied. Oh yeah, that's something to bear in mind. If you, you know, select the property like so, make sure you click off it so he applies it properly first. I've had that issue a few times. Now if I run it, and as you can see, it's always at the bottom left. You could do that at the top left, you know, just the top center, you know, however you want. So this is fantastic. Experiment with it as an extra task. What I want you to do is add a button in each one of the corners and the center and just all, basically always keep it there. And the other thing, the other one that I want to cover is, so if you've got properties, is docking. So docking basically, you know, is to do with the actual size of it. You can think of it like that. So if, for example, I go to dock, and let's say I say, I select the bottom. That means it's always docked at the bottom and it's always like this sort of size. Obviously, I can select different places and it's relative to the parent container. So if you want it a little smaller, you could put it into a group box and that way you can apply a slightly smaller dock. I'm just gonna have none, but that's basically what anchoring and docking is. Anchoring allows you to just fix it to a certain location relative to where it was originally and when you resize the window and docking allows you basically just to dock it into one of five locations. Center, which is the entire parent element, in this case, that's the form. The left-hand side, almost like a sidebar on the left. The right-hand side, almost like a sidebar on the right. The top, which you can think of it almost like a header. The bottom, which is sort of like a footer, if you think of it in the case of a website. That's it, pretty simple. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. The GitHub link will be provided so you can check out the source code and see everything. Plus, you know, the source code from every other video in this series. And as usual, thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next programming video.